Center for the Study of Asian American Health is really a unique resource to the whole country. It's the only uh, center that is focused uh, really exclusively on the health of uh, Asian Americans. So the New York University Center for the Study of Asian American Health was established in 2003 through a grant from the National Institute of Health, National Institute for Minority Health and Health Disparities. The Center for the Study of Asian American Health has focused on four scientific tracks to guide our work. We have one track that's focused on cardiovascular disease and diabetes, another track that's focused on cancer, a third track that's focused on mental health, and our final track is focused on improving our understanding the role of social determinants on health. So the Asian American population, especially in New York, is tremendously diverse. They're made up of over 30 Asian subgroups. So our focus is on looking into the subpopulations that make up the Asian American community. And Often that data is aggregated so that you're looking at a big group of Asian Americans. The data and the information doesn't tell a story. It doesn't really help identify factors that can inform interventions that will help change health behaviors, that will um, actually make a difference in terms of health promotion. We do a lot of data collection that includes surveying, but also a lot of qualitative and observational data collection so that we're collecting information in a way that complements some of the larger data sets and really showcases the diversity in the Asian communities. The strategy for engaging com these communities is based on principles of community-based participatory research, which really means thinking about the community at their level, involving those members um, work to work with us to better understand, for example, what's going on in the Filipino community, what's going on in the Korean community, to think about how best to address those strategies and involving them in the research design and the analysis and the dissemination. So there's a long-term ownership of those issues. Community health workers, actually they're frontline health uh, workers who uh, bridges uh, the gap between the community and the healthcare providers. Dream Project Diabetes Research Education Action for Minorities. Uh, this is the first health project in North America for Bangladeshis. We work with Bengali people, mostly women, they are very conservative. When we go to them, they keep telling us, oh, we love to come to your program, and it's like helping us a lot. So when we hear those things, we feel, oh, we are doing something for our community. So this is like very rewarding. So our female community health worker, what she does, she trained these women participants how to take the subway, how to take the public transportation, you can come to the doctor's visit. Some of them actually, they, after uh, getting this training from our community health worker, were able to come by own. And they were very excited that you know, they felt sort of empowerment, independent, that, okay, I can do it. So one of our participants, uh, he was a formal lawyer in Bangladesh. And uh, when he came over here, he became very alone. And I got a call from uh, the doctor's office that uh, he did not visit for long and his A1C level is very high. And one afternoon I got a call that said, oh, he don't have any place to live. And within an hour, I just managed a shelter for him. And you know, he's so happy, he's so thankful to me because this is because of you. I mean, I'm not, uh, you know, on the street. We're really committed to thinking beyond just identifying the health disparities, introducing interventions that are sustainable and that can be scaled to other communities to make sure that we are addressing the health needs of Asian Americans across the U.S.